a monument to Martin Luther King dedicated by our first African-American president on the National Mall. It was a long struggle, but America, all of us together, we got there because of Martin and so many others like him. I remember dear brother Malcolm, how the corners of his mouth turned up when he smiled and his devilish laugh. <laughs> and then there were their wives. They carried on in the struggle even after their men were, 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 were gunned down in cold blood. I mean, they were a sisterhood, born of sorrow, yes, but they became a sisterhood of greatness. It's Betty and Coretta I remember the most. When Martin was jailed during the fight for voting rights, Coretta rushed down to Selma, Alabama to be by his side. It was there that she met Malcolm for the first and only time. Then we'll take it off. Yeah. 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 And takes it some other way. What he wants is the ballot. And it is a right. And it will be gotten one way or the other. Now I believe in nonviolence. If a person is nonviolent with me. But if my enemy does not believe in nonviolence, then practicing nonviolence with him, in my opinion, is a waste of time. If they stick that dog on you, you shoot it, understand me? I know you by the name Malcolm. We didn't know I changed it then. I guess they called you down here to the church when they heard I was coming, huh? You know, it's irresponsible to talk the way you do. We got enough problems down here without you showing up and bringing us more. I didn't come here to make trouble. I'm here to support Dr. King. You should thank me, and so should he. If his enemies wind up giving him what he wants, it's only because I scared the pants off. And if we wind up fighting amongst ourselves over strategy and lose sight of the bigger picture, who do we thank then? I agree. We need to be self-empowered. We need a strong sense of pride in ourselves and our history. That's why I'm asking Dr. King to link up his struggle with that of our black and brown brothers and sisters in Africa and the rest of the world. Well, shouldn't we deal with our own fires in this country before we go putting out others? You're missing the point. Oh, am I? We get those countries to censor ours in the United Nations, and you'll see some real change down here real fast. We push for that. We risk bringing down Johnson, and no other president has done more for us. If he's that great, why is your husband in jail right now? My husband has faith, as do I, that right will triumph in men's hearts. Well, someone has faith, that's for sure. I'm glad I met you, Mrs. King. I can see where Dr. King gets his strength. Minister? Thank you for coming.